Main Street and Hartford. And on the blacktop, the countdown is on to go green once again. Well, we didn't do it in 20. We didn't do it in 21, but we are doing it in 22. The previous pair of parades in Hartford were canceled, but now after three years, St. Pat's is back. The Five C's Liz Saunders is this year's Grand Marshal for the March 12th tradition. I think that this is really going to be a turning point. I think the streets are going to be filled with people, people of all races and nationalities, celebrating all things Irish in the city of Hartford. And after three years, there'll be actually something even more to celebrate. 50 years. In West Hartford, it's all in the family for the Stauntons. Brother and sister John and Kathleen's father was a parade founder. You know, it's 50 years, you know, 50 years that we have been doing the parade. You know, our father started, you know, the parade, was one of the founders of the parade. And so we just want to carry on the tradition. We're going on to fourth generation with our kids. So it's great. They're excited. They're excited to hold the banners and uh, march and see all the happy faces in a sunny day. For Jeff Flax, the president and CEO of Hartford Healthcare, marching is symbolic of the giant steps they've navigated. He's the parade's person of the year. I'm so humbled uh, and incredibly honored in many ways. So I'm accepting this for all the people who work in the front lines of health care. Uh, we saw such heroic acts, and that day we'll be celebrating health care, we'll be celebrating community, uh, and we'll be celebrating 50 years of this parade, which is an incredible tradition. And more chances to bring spirit to the capital city streets. It is really happening. The parade is a go. In Hartford, Jim Altman, Fox 61 News.